I'm going to show you how to build a SharePoint carousel using the latest feature that's just been released. My name's Dougie Wood, and I'm a Microsoft MVP, which is an award given to me directly from Microsoft after working with SharePoint for the past 15 years. I've built so many different solutions, but I really love this carousel feature. So let's take a look. Okay, so where I'm going to be building this is in a site that already exists. I'm not building it completely from scratch. Um, it's on uh, my template that I refer to as the bank. Um, and I've actually removed uh, what I did have across the top, which was just a normal kind of hero web part with a few images and things like that. Because I'm wanting to replace that space with a carousel using the new uh, carousel feature that SharePoint has rolled out. And you can see that here, this is just a typical internet homepage, all the kind of stuff that you would typically have in terms of news, uh, announcements, useful links, uh, recent documents that people have uh, opened, call to actions, and typical things that you'd expect to see on an internet homepage. So now to add the carousel, it's fairly simple. All we need to do is edit the page and then select where we want um, the, it to go. So I, I want it to go on this part of my page. So I'm gonna click on the add button. Now the carousel itself isn't actually a web part. So if you just search for carousel or slide or anything like that, you won't find that as a web part. So what it is, is actually the hero web part. So if I select the hero web part um, and, and by default, you can see that there's nothing in the web, uh, web part. Now, there's a couple of different layouts. Now, traditionally, let's just add a few links in here just so you can kind of see what this looks like. So um, I probably would be linking mostly to pages within my intranet, but you could be linking to things externally as well if you wanted to. So I'm just going to select a couple of links, and I'm actually just blocking the insert button across the bottom corner here. Um, but I'm just going to insert a couple of different kind of links onto my hero web part. Whoops. And click there, or if I, as I say, if I wanted to, I could actually put from a link. So, say for example, if I wanted to link from Microsoft.com or any other kind of third-party website which has got um, URLs and things like that, we can add in there too. So, I'm just going to fill this out with a couple extra tiles. I can do that just by clicking on the Edit Properties, and then you can see these tiles option here. So, I'm going to select a couple more tiles to add on here. And under the tiles option, we have up to five options. So I'm just going to add in a couple more links. So just go from a link, paste in Microsoft website. I say this could be anything, but um, I'm not too bothered. Just in this example, I'm just showing you what potentially we could do. So I'm just filling up this space just with some example links, just so we've got basically all of those in here. Then for each of these um Obviously, we've got the links in here, but we could, if we wanted to, um, put in a bit of header text. Um, so let's just put in some lorem ipsum into each of these. So select the tiles, put it in like so. Um, and we're starting to see this now look a lot more like a hero part that we um, traditionally are used to. Now, you can see... Um, we now have a few different options. We have tiles. We also have layers, which we previously had before. And now we've got this new feature, which is called carousel. Now, once we've selected the carousel, you can see that we now have starting to take a bit more shape to make it look more like a carousel that we can slide through. And we can see we've got the learn more options and things like that. So I'm just going to go back to uh, my, my first slide here. And you can see we've got a couple of different styles as well. We can either go with image overlay text block or a diagonal split. Now, I quite like this diagonal split. Now, I think realistically, you're going to need to make sure that you've got um, images set in the background just to make sure that actually um, what you're selecting is these kind of layouts are going to make sense. Now, I actually find it much easier to go into the tiled option to select the background images, the text and things like that, and then move back into the carousel afterwards just to kind of see what it looks like. So again, I'm just going to go and select all our tiles here. And I'm just going to choose. Now, I could choose some of the imagery that I've already used inside of my um, intranet. So I could select, for example, um, this image here. Or something else which I often advocate people do is use a stock image library and again, type in something. So for example, I've got this picture of a drone here. 
click on insert and there we go and i would do that for all of the tiles as well so go through change all the images now i'm actually using um blue as a theme here so i might want to choose some images which have actually got more of a kind of blue theme in them because i think that's going to go much better with the carousel um, and the backgrounds that we're using within our SharePoint site. So I'm just going to type in blue and maybe say office, something like that. So we can find some pictures which are sort of blue themed and people in the office. So there we go. We've got another one there. A lot of kind of imagery of people going on at the moment. So maybe we have some imagery which is blue, but maybe related to a building um, like so. So maybe something. Uh, which ones do we like? Um, quite like that. That's quite a nice image. Reasonably corporate, like a bank potentially would have. So I'm just going to change this because it doesn't quite feel kind of the vibe we're going for. So blue um, and maybe... I don't know, try banks see if there's anything. Not really. Maybe some stats, figures, things like that. Uh, maybe we could use something those lines and then let's pick a final one here and again just find something which is blue and there we go picture something like that often banks use those kinds of imagery as well so there we go um so now we've set the carousel it's much easier to now see what this is going to look like per slide when we select say for example that one's got the diagonal split which actually as luck has it, I think that looks really well. And we can have different layouts for each of our slides. So this one might be that we'll go with a text block with this one, or actually I think image overlay. Yeah, image overlay looks probably the best with that one. Let's go to the next slide. Um, and we can also change things like the overlay as well. So sometimes it looks better with kind of like the white text over the kind of black overlay, which I think looks pretty good. In this case, you could always make it darker or lighter as well, so it's making sure it kind of fits. We can also change where the text sits. So in this case, in this image, I think it looks much better on the right-hand side. We can give it a topic as well. So maybe this is um, something like, I don't know, IT support, something like that. Um, change this one. So again, image overlay. I think diagonal split. Mm, no. No, I think I prefer it like that, to be honest. Um, maybe make it a little bit darker. A little play around with it, just to see how you kind of like it and what works with the kind of image. I think that works quite well like that. Again, topic. I um, don't know. Offices or whatever it is. New office, maybe. We can provide a bit of a kind of description. We can add a, a link as well. So if we wanted to add another link as a secondary kind of button, we can do. So maybe just put in here w.microsoft.com. And that's how you get your kind of uh, your kind of button and things like that down here. Um, it seems to have changed the kind of image. So I might need to just go back and just add that image back on again. Um, there's some other accessibility options down here. So um, this basically allows you to provide some alternative text for people who are blind or have low vision. So it's always worth briefly describing uh, the image. And also, if you want to, you can just mark it as decorative if, if it's not really that important to the, the kind of the visuals of, of the navigation and things like that. Um, and that's essentially it. We've now got our kind of um, our carousel together. Once we're happy with it, all we need to do is click on the republish button. And essentially that is then going to take us to a page where we can start to see now um, our carousel, which people can easily manually scroll through. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give us a like and a subscribe. If you've got any questions at all, you can use the comments feed below. Um, and if you need any professional services, any help with SharePoint, there's a link in the description below to get in contact with me. Thank you.